The term projection comes to us from the discourse of psychoanalysis, and it's very rarefied, you know, but we're actually projecting all the time. We can't stop it. It's part of how we interact with each other. And so where we're coming from, and specifically where I'm coming from, is let's get on with it, let's be conscious about it, and let's see what it's really telling me, and how can I use it in my day-to-day -day life, in my coaching? Um, how does it inform me? Um, it's something that we're all experts in, and it underwrites every relationship that we have every relationship and primarily for me I've kind of tried to break it down and make it simple it's about me and not me and whatever I determine is me then it excludes everything else as not me so what's not me is available for me to project onto and I'll project anything that I've determined is not me whether it's good or bad it doesn't have to be uh, the dark, the shadow, I can put people on a pedestal and see how wonderful they are and it's actually my light that I'm seeing shining from them as well as their own. Um, and equally I can project a, a whole load of stuff that I don't want to admit to and you know make lots of people bad. Um, and, and it's as black and white as that and we do it unconsciously. And you know, the basic image of it that I have is just like it's a film projector. You know, there's a light projecting through the filters that I see as my own reality. And that projects that reality out onto the world. I have to be as aware of my own inner process as I am of anything else going on outside me or where I perceive to be outside me. Because I'm always in that dynamic and it's always shifting. And if I'm not aware, then I'm behaving unconsciously and I'm coaching unconsciously. So it's like, what agendas am I running in that unconscious process? You know, the, the scope of this is very, very far reaching. We just wanted to clarify so that you're absolutely clear on our objectives for this session, because that's the, the framework that you'll hold then the exercise that Althusser was just about to get you to do. One of which, this is a taster and this is an experience because we believe that this is about experiencing something rather than understanding it intellectually. So you'll be glad to know there'll be a lovely written document for you to all to take away at the end of the session. But what we don't want you is to have it now and to sit there and read it. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to give you an experience and to give you a taster which will increase your awareness. And your awareness not intellectually but experientially. Okay? So... We then hope it'll help you start to question and think how this may add value to your own coaching. So it's a set of, sort of simple objectives, but it's about experience, awareness, a taster, a touch of it, and then to consider how that might improve your coaching or enhance your coaching, which is our belief. This is my iceberg, just in case you were wondering. I'm not an artist. You, you know, and I'm so not an artist. <laughs> As anyone who knows me is in here, right. So this is the tip of the tip of the tip of the tip of the tip is our expectation and aspiration for this hour, okay? So just be really clear, you are not going to go away with theoretical everything there is to know about projection we know. This is just a taster, okay? So now, uh, I want you to have an experience, but you don't have to have an experience. So as uh, Catherine said, you know, participate as and how you feel. And just to let you know that you're all projecting right now, I'd like you to turn your gaze away from me because, you know, I'm holding quite a I lot know it's of projection tough, but here. but don't look at him. Um, <laughs> and just make contact with somebody else in the room. And uh, I know Lynn here uh, uh, may have a little bit of difficulty with that, so we've got someone to take care of that. So make contact with somebody else in the room and observe the story that you're telling yourself about that person. Now, you, now no, don't talk. No talking. This is internal. Observe the story that you're telling yourself. 
because that's your projection. And it may be a story, it may be a feeling, it may be a colour, it may be a sound. Okay. And just so that you know, I'm projecting buckets onto you lot. <laughs> <laughs> And whatever you came up with is a projection. It's your stuff. Put simply. I use simple language. He uses long words. <laughs> okay? Understand you can do what you want. We're assuming that you're all grown-ups. We're assuming that you're all responsible for whatever content you share and however you work with the other person. We're also assuming that you hold anything confidential. So standard coaching systems we're hoping to apply and use. And, and uh, the final point, which is probably the most important, is that either misery or hilarity through this per process is entirely optional. <laughs> um, I'm quite good on the hilarity front, because I do believe that coaching, you don't have to be serious to deal with serious issues. But really, discuss the issues you wish to discuss and raise the points you wish to raise, and we're trusting to hold yourselves responsible as we go through this. Okay? Okay, person A, you are the coach. And person, person B, you just be quiet for a minute. We'll come to you shortly. Okay, instructions for the coach. You've got 10 minutes coaching time, okay? And you, the purpose is to increase your client's awareness of how they may be projecting when they are coaching a client. You are to make sure they are focused on a real coaching context okay so that's your job okay A's look at the sheet that you found on your chair exercise exercise one and this is very directive but we want you to use these questions I start with question one and ideally get at least to question five okay so that's your agenda. And if I just build something there, as a complete rule breaker myself, I know how challenging it might be for some people to actually ask the questions. This isn't a, co a proper coaching experience, it's a coach training and an exercise. So really, we've designed these questions very specifically to hopefully give you and your client the experience that we're trying to get you to get. Okay. So all those, try and resist the, let's just add in my own brilliant questions. I know you've all got them, and I know you're all coaches. <laughs> and this is so hard for me, I know. So ideally, please just use the questions that are there, because they're designed for a purpose. Please pay attention. <laughs> <coughs> you are all coaches in real life, with one or two exceptions. This is about coaching in a real context. And in this exercise, you are the client bringing a real-life situation, real-life coaching experience to this coach that you just met. So, Bs, clients, bring to mind a situation where you were coaching and where you felt angry, frustrated, exasperated, irritated, disappointed. Now, I know not many of you will have had those experiences, and you might, you might have to trawl through your memory banks a bit, but find one. And that's the situation about which you need to be coached in this situation for this exercise. Okay?